been a great league. Um, a lot of great players on the verge of playing in the big leagues. So really good competition, um, and really good pitching. Um, you know, I think it, you know, just continuing to work on all the things I worked on off, all off season and um, keep progressing, feeling more comfortable. And so it's a great league. It's been I mean, a lot of fun so far. The other part, everywhere you go when it's not big, and I would imagine it's kind of a circus. How do you how do you handle that? Um, you know, as best we can, I guess, and, you know, try to um, just be gracious with it. And, um, you know, you're always grateful for the support. Um, uh, when, you know, fans turn out, that's, you know, a blessing. But at the same time, you know, uh, they can be quick to <laughs> boo you too. So I've had both sides of it uh, often. But, you know, there's been a lot of great support. And, um, you know, especially, uh, you know, we have road trips and you know, places like this. So. It's uh, any time to get support, it feels good. Now we're getting into your second season in minor league baseball. Is it what you thought would be the experience? Is it harder? Is it different than what you thought it would it's be? A, it's somewhat what I thought. Um, you know, it's been a, a great experience for me. I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, playing against great competition, and um, yeah, it's been a really fun journey. What was that first at bat like this year with the home run? And um, feels good. I mean, that's a, it, it feels good to start out that way. Um, you know, I think. You know, kind of all my first at bats have been pretty special um, in every league, and that's just a very rare, unique thing that I feel very blessed and fortunate to have had it happen. Um, but it was a really fun way to start. I saw last week when Spurrier was trying to lure you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did that catch you by surprise? Or? No, it didn't. He had <laughs> talked to me uh, several times on the phone, so it didn't catch me by surprise. So, yeah, we friends for a long time and so he um, had reached out all the time and we talked and uh, I'm sure we'll talk in the future with friends um, but now my focus is uh, diamond right over here. Have you uh, talked to Urban at all? Oh yeah we talk all the time. Does he know you're you're like an hour and a half off the road? <laughs> yeah he probably does. Uh, yeah he, he says he's pretty busy but uh, I'll touch base with him here soon again um, but he's like a father figure to me we're still really close feels good about his team this year. So, yeah, we'll see how he does. Got any thoughts on uh, Baker Mayfield going number one overall in the draft of the Browns on Thursday? Yeah, I think he's a, a very special player. I've been saying that for a long time. Um, you know, even through some of his you know, controversial things, I, I think that he's uh, he's got an it factor that not a lot of players have. And um, I think he's got a chance to be special. Did you do anything late this year that is different from your prep from last year? Yeah, totally. I, you know, going into the year before, I didn't know what to expect. It was the first year, and so it's hard to necessarily, you know, set goals, set boundaries, set, you know, really look at, you know, adjusting training, sleeping, everything, right? Um, because everything goes into this for me. And so um, after one year, then I could kind of sit down, game plan it, look at it, and kind of go to work. So there were a lot of adjustments that I made. Say this is the biggest jump. What have you noticed different in this league that maybe wasn't in high A or low A? Good question. Um, yeah, I think, I think there's talent, you know, um, from pitchers everywhere. But I think here you learn a little bit. You see a little bit more of the game plan from them, right? And being able to execute that game plan, um, depending on what you may be struggling at the plate, where the pitches are, um, you know, what the pitches are. And so I think that's probably a, one of the bigger jumps they're able to execute that game plan. Not that they don't necessarily have it at lower levels, just that much closer to being executed. 30 is about the time most uh, most athletes are really clicking in their prime, and that's, that's where you are now. How do you feel feel about that and how you're tracking? Uh, I mean, I feel, my body feels really good, um, you know, athletically. Um, and I still think that I'm uh, improving and growing, and I don't even think from where I, as a baseball player, where I am now is where I could get to. So, so I think there's a long way to go. Can uh, Baker uh, adequately exp uh, prepare for what it's like to be in the NFL? 
is there any way, I, I mean, I'm sure he's being told what it's like until you do it. Can you? I don't think you can ever fully uh, simulate an NFL defense or blitzes, but I think he's got a lot of experience. He played against great defenses. He played against Georgia and executed pretty well the first three quarters against them. Um, but there's no way to fully simulate what an NFL defense is like. Um, but I think he's someone that's adapted his entire life to and he's overcome so much, and I think he'll do it at the next level, too. You're a guy that played three, four years in college, and that's something he's done. A lot of these guys, when they come in, they play, play one year, two years. Yeah. How, how much of a benefit is that going to be? I think it's a huge benefit. I think what he did walking out of Texas Tech, um, winning starting job, then getting benched, then going to Oklahoma, walking on there, winning the starting job over a very highly touted quarterback, and then the success he had from his first year taking over the comeback, you know, at Tennessee to then being, you know, going to the playoffs and, you know, being able to compete at a very high level, win the Heisman Trophy. I think that there's a, you know, so many people want to look at size and arm strength and um, just things you can measure. I think the quarterback position is about what you can't measure. Um, yeah, you got to be able to be accurate. You got to be able to have an arm, make plays. But, I mean, we've seen a whole lot of guys at 6'4", 6'5", big arms and, you know, didn't win too many games. Um, so I'm someone that I think views it a little bit differently. Uh, I think it's about what you can't measure. I think what we've seen out of him is some special things. One of the biggest physical skills or tools that have applied to both football and baseball you find kind of a commonality for being successful, whether it's arm strength and things like that. I think hand-eye coordination. Um, Lateral quickness, explosiveness, those are things that kind of, you know, translate to both sports. Um, but, you know, baseball is a lot more of a skill game. Um, you know, it's very much um, being able to have the fundamentals of process. And I mean, football it doesn't have the same skills involved, but, um, you know, it's just a little bit different that way. You train more for the skills than you do the athleticism in baseball. You need both, but a little bit different in the process of it. For youth and high school athletes in this day and age, you see a lot of pressure on kids to do one sport and specialization and that sort of thing. How beneficial can it be to play, you know, two or three sports at the high school level? And do you hate kind of seeing that? I can't that? stand it when they make them pick at an early age. I think being able to play as many sports as you can, as you want to, and learning how to compete, how to win, how to adapt when you go from, you know, from one season to the next to the next. And I think you grow. Um, I think the kids that just play one sport all year long eventually get burned out and you know they're using the same muscles over and over and over again that their body just wears down and deteriorates instead of adapting and growing and so I, do, I encourage kids to play as many sports as they want and don't specialize at too young of an age but learn the, the qualities that are more important than the skills at age the qualities are to compete to learn to win to adapt to be a great teammate not necessarily just to throw from you know third to first and um, yeah I'm pretty passionate about that